keeping all the facts and figures of question number 116 unchanged. Compute the ITC credited to the electronic credit ledger of BND company when it exits composition scheme and becomes liable to pay tax under regular scheme in accordance with the provisions of 181C. So, in accordance with the provisions of 181C, so what is the ITC they can take exactly on which date they are going into composition scheme 310. So, take the closing stock as on 210 take the closing stock as on 210. So, we need the closing stock as on 210. In that closing stock, whatever GST paid that can be taken as credit. What is the closing stock as on 210? So, we know the closing stock as on 39. With respect to product Q, anyhow it is exempted. So, on purchase, we would not have paid GST. So, therefore, GST paid closing stock is only P, product P. So, product P alone you take opening balance 10 lakhs, opening balance 10 lakhs. That is opening balance for the first month. Actually, so opening balance that is for 1st October, opening balance plus purchases. Purchases during October, okay. So, minus cost of goods sold, cost of goods sold for which period? 110 to what is the period up to which they were under composition scheme? 210. 110 to 210 minus cost of goods sold equals to closing balance okay or opening stock plus purchases so closing balance of stock as on 210 now opening balance opening stock 10 lakhs purchases zero why zero because it is given that no purchases were made in the month of october so zero minus cost of goods sold this is only with respect to product p not with respect to product q because product q is not at all coming under you know tax GST not there. So, only with respect to product P. Cost of goods sold of product P. First to take sales. Sales is how much? 2 lakhs plus 1 lakh 36,000 plus 67,000. So, that is 4 lakh 3,000. 4 lakh 3,000. What will be the profit margin? 20 percent on sales. This is sales. 4 lakh 3,000 is sales. 4 lakh 3,000 minus 20 percent. So, that is 3 lakh 22,400. So, because we need cost of goods sold, na? we need cost of goods sold. So, with a profit margin of 20 percent on sales. So, the sales value is 2 lakhs plus 1 lakh 36,000 plus 67,000, 4 lakh 3,000, 4 lakh 3,000 into 80 percent that is 3 lakh 22,400 minus 3 lakh 22,400 will be equal to closing balance. So, 3 lakh 22,400 so, if you take out 10 lakhs, that is 6,77,600. 6,77,600 is the closing stock. In this 6,77,600, so 3 lakhs worth of purchases were made beyond one year. Except a consignment of product P valuing 3 lakhs, which was purchased in the April month of the preceding financial year. So, actually 18.1c, we can take the stock only if it is purchased within one year prior. We can take the ITC on the closing stock only if those purchases are made within one year prior to the closing stock date. So, for October, April of the preceding year, definitely beyond one year. So, we need to take it out. So, minus beyond one year purchases. What is the beyond one year purchases? Beyond one year, if you see, that is 3 lakhs. So, balance 3,77,600. On that, whatever GST paid can be taken as credit. Okay. So, what is the GST paid on that? The rate of GST could be 18 percent. The rate of GST could be 18 percent. Rate of GST, rate of CGST is 9 percent and SGST is 9 percent. So, therefore, 18 percent on this. 3 lakhs 77,600 into 18 percent 67,968 67,968 okay two lakh one second two lakh okay here it is one lakh thirty six taken but actually it should be one second it 
60 is 1 lakh 33 maybe there could be some mistake in the question so we will change it to 1 lakh 33 we will change it to 1 lakh 33 and this one will be 5250 so 1 lakh 38250 okay so because actually the answer this question continuing question so here it is taking that so 1 lakh 33 now what will happen if it is 1 lakh 33000 then accordingly it will change the cost of goods sold will be so 2 lakhs plus 1 lakh 33000 plus 67000 4 lakhs 4 lakhs into 0.8 3 lakh 20000 that will become 3 lakh 20000 okay so then this will be so 10 lakhs minus 3 lakh 20000 will be 6 lakh 6 lakh 80000 6 lakh 80000 minus 3 lakhs will be 3 lakh 80000 3 lakh 80000 into 18 percent 68400 now it will be matching 68400 okay 34200 34200 this is the itc on the stock plus under 181c you can also take itc on capital goods you can also take itc on capital goods what is the capital goods so that data is given the following additional information is also available particulars regarding capital goods what is the date on which we need to take closing stock 2 10 so, 2nd October, whatever is the stock as on 2nd October, on that only we will take. It should be purchased within one year prior. Computers, date of purchase 1, 2. So, is it within one year? Yes. So, can we take this? Yes, we can take this. Printers, January 1, 2 years prior. No, we cannot take this. Motor cycle used by the staff for collecting payments from the data. First of all, on motor cycle, we cannot take ITC, it is a blocked credit. Okay. So, motor vehicle used for transportation of persons having capacity does not exceed 13, not coming under exception. So, we cannot take ITC on this. Furniture and fixtures 12 6. So, for October 210, 12 6 is within, within one year prior. So, we can take and air conditioner used in the office. So, 15 10. Yes, we can take this exhaust fan used in the go down 10-3, we can take this. The company has not claimed depreciation on the tax component on any of the capital goods. All the conditions necessary for availing ITC have been complied with. Now, in case of capital goods, we will take as reduced by 5% for every quarter or part thereof. From the date of purchase till the date of conversion, date of purchase 1-2. So, 1-2 means Jan, Feb, March. April, May, June, okay. So, then July, August, September, so 2nd October, so date of conversion. So, therefore, one quarter. So, total four quarters, it will be reduced. Computer 36,000 minus 5 percent into four quarters, 14,400, okay. Then next, in case of printers, ITC not available. Motorcycle also block credit, ITC not available. Then furniture and fixtures 12-6, 12-6, so June, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, two days, one quarter, three quarters, three into five, 15 percent. So, therefore, three into five, 15 percent from that, we will be able to take the credit, okay. So, 72,000 minus 5 into 4, actually this is divided by 2, divided by 2 because here, first we will, we have the information regarding GST. So, in that we will take and divided by 2, we will take CGST, SGST, okay. So, this is divided by 2, divided by 2, okay. Then, air conditioner used in the office, we purchased it after 310, we purchased it during the time we are under composition scheme, 1510 is after the date. So, full credit we will take. 36,000 we will take, but that credit we will take under normal scheme, not because of 181C, not because of 181C. If you see the question, so what is the ITC that can be availed under 181C? This is actually you can take, but not under 181C. Normally itself we can take, because for 181C we need to file a form. What is that form? Form GST ITC 1 we need to file. 
So that form, no need to mention this detail. Exhaust fan used in the go down. So 10 3 means Jan, Feb, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October. So four quarters. 9000 minus 5 into 4 quarters. So divided by 2, 3600, 3600. This is the ITC that can be taken on capital goods. These on inputs and these on capital goods. So here air conditioner is a worthy point. That is actually we can take credit but not under 181. See normally itself we can take the credit. That is this. 